you have selected to play with Dead Ends enabled. The game will play exactly the same way as the EGA version of King's Quest 1, Quest for the Crown. You check to make sure that the feather is still securely stuck in your cap. There's not much to do there. This rock is less distinctive than the one next to it. You're in a shady forest clearing. A large rock rests in the middle of the clearing. You see a large gray rock. With a small shove, you manage to push the rock a few feet, revealing a shallow hole underneath. You reach into the hole and find an intricately carved dagger. You carefully lift it out, being careful not to cut yourself. The water is not deep enough here for you to dive. The water is not deep enough here for you. This is a serene mountain lake with a small beach of pebbles on its edge. The water is not deep enough. Nothing happens. The water. That's strange, you don't get an answer. Nothing. Be careful, Sir Graham. You might cut yourself. On the beach are some smooth, round pebbles. You grab some pebbles. This is the biggest oak tree you've ever seen. Its trunk seems to be about 10 feet around, and the thick, sturdy branches look like they could hold many times your weight.
You can tell by the coarse feel of the wood that this tree must be ancient. You carefully lift the golden egg out of the nest. You pluck a plump orange carrot from the ground.